Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to tackle modern infrastructure challenges and navigate the journey to multi-cloud success. So whenever we have any customer conversation, most of the time the customers have their modern infrastructure challenges. So let's quickly talk about what is the three critical issues for modern infrastructure. The primary issue is where do we put applications? Because applications, they have a multi types of applications. Few applications are monolithic application and few are tier based applications like a web server, app and DB. And some are like a container applications. So we should aware that our applications, normally most of the organization, minimally they have a two sites and they have more than two sites. They have to understand their applications. Shall we keep it on a on-premises or we can keep it on a either private cloud or public cloud. Okay, so these scenarios, the customers always facing the challenges. But generally, uh, suppose there are some tools, it will help us where we can keep the applications, whether we can keep it on on-premises or we can keep it on private or public. These scenarios, there are some tools. For example, one of the tool is HPE Write Mix Advisor. This Write Mix Advisor, how it will help is, let's say if we have a more than 1000 of applications or even 10,000 of applications. All these applications, it will consolidate and it will show us the report size. Few applications recommend to run on on-premises, few are in a private cloud and few are in a public cloud. Okay, and this is also segregation with the monolithic, tier based and container application and also which applications recommended to migrate to container applications also, it will suggest us. So that's how this is a common challenge. But at the end of the day, we should aware that how our path to the multi-cloud success. Okay, and what's the investment cost? So even the, at the end of the day, cost also matters. And are we ready with our future modernization? And any any means any infrastructure, it can be on-premises, edge location, or cloud location, okay? So to address these locations, this is the common factor, okay? And where do we put our applications means, the common thing is either we can keep it on public cloud, private cloud or edge locations. Even in the private cloud also, we have to meet certain SLEs and we have to maintain the security controls and always there may be some inconsistency. And also we require a team must have a required skill set and tools and it must be supported for a heterogeneity. Okay, so in order to support for heterogeneity, most of the time, all applications migrating as a container applications with microservices architecture. So that is a common challenges. So to address this, we should aware, another key point is we cannot escape private or public cloud distribution for our customer applications. Okay, this is the known fact. Now, let me give you the solution. How to tackle modern infrastructure challenges? Just now we talk about challenges. Now let's direct the journey to the multi-cloud success. Navigate means direction, direction to the multi-cloud success. So here are the breadth of use cases. That means a range of use, use cases and what is our actual value proposition. Okay, as we are aware, most of the customer infrastructures are already virtualized. So that means if our infrastructure vSphere platform, that means server virtualization platform, it's running with up-to-date version. That means either 8 series, 8.0 update one, or it can be a N minus one version, 7.0 update three. If we have a ESX, we can run multiple virtual machines. To manage multiple ESX hosts, we can have a vCenter server. vCenter is the management tool. So that means if we have a latest version, our vSphere environment supported for a modern workload platforms. Okay. And also it's a unified platform for all 
virtual machines production virtual machine but only recommendation is we must have to update our esx and v center virtual machine should be with the latest version so that we can get all the new features will be applicable to our modern workload platform okay that is the first phase suppose if the customers still the many organizations are in the still in a getting started phase to next level but some organizations already they migrated to next level so even when we uh, talk to our regular customers there is no guarantee all customers reached to the multi cloud level some are in the on the process some are still at the modern workload platform okay but the usual process when they are at the modern workload platform the next stage of st stage of modernization journey is modern storage that means normally in a norm traditional architecture when we have a vSphere they can use the uh, storage can be a either NAS storage or iSCSI SAN or fiber channel SAN when it comes to the modern storage it can be a hyper converged storage that means our compute can be integrated with storage when compute and storage combined that means converged we call it as we install the hypervisor we call it as hyper converged infrastructure platform that means within a modern storage VMware recommended product is called virtual SAN so that means VFSPR plus vSAN, we call it as HCA platform. And the operation management also easy operation management when we migrate our workloads from traditional storage to virtual SAN. And the, how we migrate the traditional SAN to virtual storage, uh, virtual SAN is, as we are aware, within our vCenter, we have a concept called storage vMotion. And all your VM workloads, first we have to create a virtual SAN using the new cluster with multiple ESX host, configure vSAN. And when you have a vSAN data store, you can start migrating all your workloads using SV motion feature migrated to the virtual SAN so that there will be no production impact. That is how we can migrate our infrastructure from traditional storage to virtual SAN. That means our infrastructure at the second stage, we have a, it will support it for a modern workload virtual machine as well as storage infrastructure cost also reduce when we migrate it to virtual SAN. Okay, that is the second stage. And now coming to the third stage, workload management and automation here workload management is nothing but a within our vmware vcenter server we have a feature called workload management when we enable workload management it will allow us to configure vSphere with tangent Okay, that means Tangi is nothing but a enterprise grade Kubernetes platform and we can run simultaneously within our vCenter, we can able to create a multiple virtual machines and concurrently along with our virtual machines, we can also run a container virtual machines. How we can run container virtual machine is when we enable workload management, it will configure supervisor cluster on top of supervisor cluster. It will allow us to create a Tanju Kubernetes cluster. So within Tanju Kubernetes cluster, we can run container workloads and we can create vSphere pods. We can run virtual machines. That means within a vCenter platform, we can run virtual machines vSphere pods and also Tanju container applications. That means container enterprise grade Kubernetes applications also we can run within the same platform. Okay. And these all completely integrated in environment. And also if you want to automate all our day-to-day -day tasks like whatever you performing on a storage level task and virtual machine snapshot creations or deploying virtual machines from template or we are creating a tanju kubernetes clusters and removing deleting scale up scale down all the day-to-day -day operations we need to do automation for automation scenario vmware giving you one solution that is called aria automation formally we call it as a v realize automation solution so when we are started using v realize automation our infrastructure is supported for a modern workloads as well as it will able to do automate all our day-to-day -day tasks so that is the third stage of more towards to multi-cloud journey. Okay. Now coming to the fourth stage, 
this is full stack virtualization here full stack virtualization is nothing but a our infrastructure is completely software defined data center in short form stdc stdc means we have a vSphere, we have virtual san we also have tanju automation and we are also introducing nsx so when your infrastructure is com coming with full stack virtualization means stdc vSphere, vsan nsx and also aria suit aria suit means it comes with the tanju automation aria operations aria login site the complete bundle complete software stack bundle we call it as a full stack virtualization and in other words vmware introduced a product called vcf vcf means vmware cloud foundation this cloud foundation will access it will enable us for to work on uh, prepare a private cloud solution within our customer environment so private cloud is the first stage uh, at the stage of fourth stage of our customer environment we make our infrastructure as a private cloud so private cloud means it's a combination of vSphere nsx vsan aria operations aria operation for logs and also aria automation and along with we also have a tanju on vcf these all solutions combined as a one product okay so that is how full stack virtualization and is it also supported for integrated lcm that means life cycle management we can also on premises infrastructure it will comes with like a cloud services okay and here one key point is vcf have a multiple options we can prepare a vcf management domain vcf workload domain management domain consists of all management infrastructure vms and workload domain consists of all the production application workloads but when it comes to management workload vmware recommend to configure as vsan and for workload domain we have a flexibility to choose any of the block storage devices for example if the customer have mission critical workload we recommend to use alatra 9k model and if the customers have business critical workload we recommend alatra 6k and normal general purpose workload we recommend alatra 5k okay so once we have a vcf private cloud infrastructure the next stage will be like a full stack across clouds so full stack across cloud means already our infrastructure having a enterprise networking storage and virtualization vms and also container workloads and this container workloads not only keeping on private cloud it is a container means it's a portable application it can be you can move it to a any of the other public cloud as well that means vcf have a capability to using site to site vpn connection we can also integrate with our public cloud connections either a aws azure google cloud ibm and so on so that means our full stack across clouds means we already have a options to integrate with our other cloud environments okay and also it will also enable us to utilize the sre services site reliability services and also it will also have additional features like storage encryption that is comes under a full stack across cloud scenario and the final stage will be like a multi-cloud that means customers not only running on private cloud hybrid cloud they are also running with additional cloud when they have additional cloud along with hybrid cloud we consider as a multi-cloud okay so this is the all the key use cases and also how we can tackle the infrastructure challenges and journey to the multi-cloud success even nowadays when you observe the customers environment most of the customer environments are some are already at the workload management and automation level some are at the modern storage level some are at the full stack virtualization vcf level some are at the multi-cloud level if the customers are still at the modern storage or workload management and automation level as a solution architect we are the trust advisor to guide them to reach to the multi-cloud success because most of the environment already started enabling the multi-cloud even as per the survey results also 90 percent of the customer workloads running on a multiple cloud environments okay so hope you understand how to tackle the modern infrastructure challenges and navigate the journey to the multi-cloud success 
and whatever the topics I mentioned within our multi-cloud journey, like vSphere and all, when you search in our Google, uh, we search with GNAN Cloud Garage YouTube channel, I already prepared the some play playlist with the detailed concepts. Suppose for VMware vSphere, we have a separate playlist. You can go through the vSphere vSphere 7 videos and also some latest concept vSphere 8, there is separate playlist. And when it comes to vSAN, I also prepared some vSAN videos as well. You can go through the vSAN videos for the vSPAN 8 playlist. And another concept is if you plan for a workload management, that means Tanju solution. Even I prepared your videos for the Tanju portfolio. You can go through the Tanju portfolio in detail concepts. And another one, I talk about ARIA automation. Even we have a ARIA automation concepts covered in our channel. You can go through ARIA automation in detail. And another one is VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation. I also covered a few concepts on VCF as well. And in addition, there is a, some additional concepts like operations for monitoring purposes. And we require a, some data protection solutions I covered. And there, I also covered some multi-cloud solutions also I covered. And you can go through the all the playlists. We have approximately 20 plus playlists within our channel. Just search in YouTube, Nan Cloud Garage, go to the playlist tab, you can find all the videos. Okay, if you find this content is useful and please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.